Hey there, good morning. I'm John. Today is Monday, October 14th, 2024. This is my daily vlog. Uh, get another week kicked off. I guess it's Columbus Day in the U.S., although we don't really observe that as much anymore, but it's not really a holiday. It used to be, I guess, so I don't know. I, I mean, it is, but it isn't. You know, the Columbus stuff. I don't know. Anyway, it's Monday. <laughs> Time to get started with a new week. <clears throat> so, uh, let's start, of course. Oh, oh well, by the way, my blog. Talk, <laughs> talk about what we've been doing, doing next and how it's going. Trying to make content creation definitely sustainable. So, let's talk about the weekend and Friday and everything since we last spoke. Uh, so, let's talk Friday morning. Uh, and on that day, my main goal was to try to uh, complete and publish a new uh, essay tutorial for Saturday, which I like to do. Uh, so, good news, bad news about the weekend, which is the bad news. I wasn't able to get that done, uh, although I did get it well <clears throat> uh, crafted and laid out and uh, partially written to where now it's clear in my head what I'm going to do. So, I pushed that to something, a targeting to get done for this coming Saturday. So, it just got delayed a week. Uh, good news is the video that I dropped on Friday, the Friday Plays, has done tremendously well. Um, the, uh, it was Haunted House which, uh, uh, 82, I think, uh, and it, <laughs> I, just because it's October, I thought, let's do Haunted House. Uh, I wasn't expecting the response to a Haunted House video. Uh, in fact, when I shot it, I ended up having to shoot the interior twice because I had an error with my configuration in the uh, recording software and the, uh, the video was wrong. So I had to do it a second time. You know, it was almost that thing like, oh, is this not going to be worth me doing this extra work? Well, it was worth it. So, You'll remember that I did that production on Thursday, released it Friday at 3 o'clock. Um, started off strong. It was doing very well. I'm like, that's impressive. Over the course of the weekend, so that came out 3 p.m. Friday. It's been uh, 48, 60 hours or so, not quite 72 hours that it's been out. That video has nearly 19,000 views. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're talking about. That's what we need videos to do. That kind of velocity. Uh, I mean, it's still not the top of the peak, but boy, is it the kind of thing you want to see on videos. You know, not getting a grand or two, right? Th this is tremendous. It's over like two times, three, t two and a half times regular performance of a video uh, that normally gets between, you know, five and seven kind of thing. Uh, 19,000 views almost. In fact, by the time I take the image for the video here, it might have been more, I don't know. Because uh, it's it's hundreds an hour right now, still cranking along. Like, yes, that's, like, every day I want them all to do that. But, uh, so on the topic of that, I want to share with you, every once in a while, I'll go back and look at older videos that are performing well. Uh, we looked at that editorial a couple weeks ago that continues to do well, and it kind of, it's kind of peaked out at about 170,000 views. Um, and, uh, but since this uh, Friday Plays was doing so well, I wanted to share with you uh, the, what is the best Friday Plays, right? So I've had several with varying levels of success. We even for a while were like, is this series over? Is it not interesting? It's just up and down. Uh, the one that is, is the top performer right now, not surprisingly, is uh, River Raid, which at the time of this recording is a little over, I think it was 37,000 views. <clears throat> which is great for a lifetime video. For me right now, fantastic. As most videos kind of peak around 15 or 20 uh, when they stop doing anything, if they're going to get that high. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I would say this series is a continued success with varying degrees of success week by week. But to have a regular... I, I, and I'm starting to hear commenters. This is cool. I'm starting to hear commenters in the Friday Plays talk about it Friday plays. You know, they don't say, have you ever played this game? Or, I mean, they do, but I mean, in addition to saying, have you played this game or you'd like to do this and whatever, is people are saying, hey, I love watching the Friday plays. On the next Friday plays, now keep in mind, I only mention that in the video, and he, I say it here way more than I say it in the actual video, and every once in a while I mention it as a thing in the uh, actual content. I don't call Friday plays, cola, tar, you know, whatever. Uh, it's just... It's become a thing that viewers have started to recognize it as, oh, this is his weekly thing. And I think that helps tremendously with uh, you know, expectation and return viewership and that sort of thing. It's something people are enjoying, they're looking forward to it, and miss it when it's not there. So that's what you want. That's what you want. You, you don't want to bang down people's doors to get them to watch it. You want them to bang down your door because they're eager to see it. I think I'm starting to see some of that. So, uh, What else? Oh, and of course, 
Uh, oh, I did choose the next Friday plays, by the way. I'm going to stay in the October spooky season theme. I think I maybe have enough for those. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, a couple more of those to do, but I have it ready, and I've started a little bit of work on it already on Monday. How about that? Uh, and then the, the ending of Friday, it was preparation to go to uh, Infinity Con Gainesville. So, uh, stuff loaded in the car, got myself ready, packed, all that kind of thing. Crack of dawn, Saturday morning, about 5 a.m., I got up and drove down to Gainesville with my buddy Marcus, who went along to help me out. Neither Mo or George were available to go, so <clears throat> it was just me uh, representing the channel. And uh, my friend Marcus went along for company and also to hang out and help me at the table. Uh, so, as such, what I do at Infinity Con. First, a uh, great event in a fantastic venue. Uh, David over at Infinity Con does a really nice job of coordinating and making people feel welcome. Uh, the venue down at Gainesville <clears throat> was tremendous. It was like a sports complex, uh, but all like the, you know, sort of like, like sports like a gym, like rubbery floors kind of stuff, <clears throat> but a beautiful environment, well lit. Uh, you know, nice amenities, uh, snack bar, you know, uh, all that kind of stuff. Really nicely done. Uh, so I had a table where I was uh, there sitting all weekend, <clears throat> greeting people, talking to them. We had giveaways that we were going to do at Long Island RetroCon uh, a couple months ago that I brought. And every time somebody gave us their name and signed up for the uh, our uh, mailing list, <clears throat> they would spin the little wheel that I have on an app and they could had a chance to win something, you know, something from one of our vendors, you know, an Atari cartridge or a... <clears throat> you know, a, uh, a pin or a toy or a game, <clears throat> handheld or something. I gave away a lot. I couldn't give away everything. I tried. I tried to spin that wheel and every, a lot of, a lot of people walked away with a lot of stuff. And every time somebody won something, I took their picture and I posted it on social, tagging the company, whether it's Atari or Play On or Retro Games or whoever, who donated that to us to give away. Uh, a lot of, a lot of attraction on Twitter, X, whatever it's called. Uh, a lot of retweets of that as people were seeing themselves. So I think that was good on that front. Uh, also on Saturday afternoon, uh, held a panel uh, talking about going full-time as a, uh, attempting to go full-time as a uh, content creator. Uh, it was lightly attended, but attended well. The people there were very engaged and interested. Um, and then uh, and then throughout the, uh, uh, the course of the show, I walked around with my gimbal and kind of shot the, uh, the vendor's floor and all the stuff going on and then created a couple of shorts over the weekend that I posted. They didn't do awesome, but uh, every little bit helps. Yeah, I know, and edit, right? Well, it's because I sat down to put together this vlog and I realized in my excitement to talk about the velocity of Friday plays, I completely skipped over sharing the stats with you and they're important. So I came back and turned on the camera again to record them for you. So let's talk about the stats. Uh, so I have a little chart, you know, I'd like to be ideally right in the middle uh, at uh, at or above uh, 80 subscribers and 13,000 views over the last seven days. Well, with the good performance over the weekend, the views have come up very, very well. They were down around the 11 point something, 12.6, uh, so almost up to the new target, the target set by that huge ramp we had uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, and subscribers, 122 average over the last seven days. So way back up, it was down to around 110, 115. So great performance over the weekend has done that. So. What did that do for our subscriber count? Well, when we talked on Friday, we were just shy of 62.1. We were 62,000 and I don't know, 80 or something. So over the weekend, we made 62.1, and a half. Yeah, so over the weekend, Mm, not quite 500. So if you do the math, it's like 475, 460, something like that. So another 400 plus weekend. Uh, that is great for stats and worth me coming back <laughs> to record a pickup for the stats I forgot to share because I was excited about the velocity of the Friday plays. So, okay, one more edit to get back to the rest of the vlog. Need to get to today next. And I'm also exhausted because when you have a convention and you're driving both days and doing all that, I didn't have a weekend off, right? I was on all weekend. So uh, that's why I look a little haggard. Probably my voice is a little scratchy right now. All because I I feel tired, but I have stuff to do today. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna half try to celebrate, <laughs> observe Columbus Day uh, and that take a little bit easy um, and but also get some work done. So uh, I need to rec record the next uh, celebrating yesteryear, yesteryear for retro days. That next script is ready. Uh, I need to cut it on Mondays and get it done and deliver it so that that video can come out on Saturday. Um, I have some more planning and writing. I'm gonna do a little more writing now that I have the essayorial 
cohesive in my head and on uh, on, on paper, virtual paper. Um, I do a little more writing, just fleshing out. It's really just getting out of my head and onto the script now uh, because it's no longer thinking, what am I going to talk about? I have all that. I even shot some B-roll for it. I shot or recorded you know, games, screen cap. Uh, work on that. Uh, maybe generate a short or two. I have a couple of ideas for that. We'll see. But uh, those are my main targets for today. Uh, I get myself set up really well. I'll do preparation for the podcast edit, which is tomorrow. Brand new episode we'll be doing on the pod uh, edit on Twitch tomorrow. So uh, this this Monday, I don't have a new product, although I do have a product supposed to be coming in the mail. And I actually expected to have shipping notification by now. So maybe it'll be late in the week. We'll see. But be another new product to review. Uh, all that is stacked up for this week. So <laughs> that's a lot. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to tackle my Monday. Uh, I'm excited to have shared all this cool stuff with you, especially how well these uh, last couple of uh, plays have been doing. I'm encouraged by that, and it motivates me to keep them going, and uh, that's what I'm continuing to do. Uh, so let me go get after doing that. Thank you, of course, for popping in to check out today's vlog. If you did, if you're one of those lunatics who are with me every day without fail and comment, I love you for that. I love seeing your name pop up in the comments. Even if you just say hi or wave or send me a little heart, I know you're there and I'm grateful that you're here watching. Uh, have a fantastic Monday. Remember to do something good for yourself because you deserve it. I'll talk to you again next year day. Bye-bye.